I'm David Brightman farming here at Gaydon in South Warwickshire on some very heavy Warwickshire clay. We uh, have had black grass problems for a long time associated with that heavy clay situation and uh, became particularly bad in the dry autumn of 11 and the wet uh, year 2012. So we realised we had to change things and that's when we introduced spring cropping into our system and now half the farm is cropped in the spring with either spring barley or spring beans. Uh, we thought we were making progress until harvest 16 when black grass issues here, as with many places around the country, were particularly bad. At that time this block of land had not had any spring cropping because of the rotational nature of the job. Within um, our Monitor Farm Group at Lewington Spa it was suggested that um, we might have to plough this in order to bury the black grass seed shed in 2016. However, being cracking clay soil there were some very deep cracks after harvest and I was concerned that a lot of the seed shed had actually disappeared down the cracks particularly since we'd had some heavy rain before, uh, after harvest and before um, we got cultivating. So the idea came about that we should do a bit of a demonstration for ourselves and use it for monitor farm purposes as well, involving ploughing, uh, standard cultivation with the sumo, a light cultivation with the uh, carrier and a carrier with a subsoiler. So four different treatments, uh, we tried to do two plots of each treatment, which was reasonably successful, and we wanted to observe how much black grass emerged after those treatments. We were reasonably encouraged in the autumn um, because we thought that after the ploughing there was actually less black grass germinating on the surface. We did spray it off in October, towards the end of October, and the Monitor Farm Group actually came here in December and had a look at these plots. Um, it wasn't easy to tell how much black grass was on each plot, but the general opinion was that there was still less black grass on the ploughed plots. Moving on, that was then sprayed off again in March and drilled with spring barley in April. We didn't originally intend to take that to yield, but we felt that it looked as if there were some differences. Uh, and so, um, despite a difficult harvest, we have managed to get some yield off each of the plots but only on one plot and only a couple of runs on the combine on each of those plots. All the plots uh, which weren't ploughed came out at an average yield of 7.3 tonnes per hectare. The ploughed plot was actually less at 6.5 tonnes per hectare. Now initially you might think that means we failed in our objective of controlling black grass but actually we think now uh, it's a factor of the dry spring showing up. All the spring barley was very slow in emerging, but we think the ploughed plots were probably drier than the other plots, and therefore emergence was even more protracted, and that might have affected the yield. So we're not talking about a scientific experiment here. We've demonstrated to ourselves that we think ploughing can reduce uh, black grass emerging, but most importantly, we think that it only worked because we ploughed in very good conditions. So early in the season, with the right equipment properly set up and carefully managed. Ploughing we've done on this ground in the past has been very hit and miss. And we've found that very often we get no better control and sometimes worse control where we've ploughed in the past. So this attention to detail and good timing is absolutely key. To bring you right up to date, you'll see that we've now in the process of ploughing this field again as part of the rotation after the spring barley this will go into spring beans and there was a appreciable amount of black grass in the spring barley and of course that will be spring germinating black grass we felt that the only cultural control we could use to con to prevent that coming up in spring beans was to plough it again. Those of you who are aware of using ploughing as a cultural control method will know that ploughing the same area in successive years is probably not a good idea but we thought it was worth continuing with that on all the plots and just seeing whether we do plough up more black grass uh, now and it appears in the spring beans so there's more to find out but I think the key thing is to make sure whenever you're ploughing you're doing the best job you possibly can. <laughs>